How do I update my flan? That's the most common question that we get here at Nav Boys, and in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. So I'm going to start with the power flan, and in this case, the power mouse. In general, most update files you'll go to the flan website for, but for the power mouse specifically, you need to go to the LXNav website. Here from the LXNav homepage, we go to downloads and firmware. And then if you scroll down, you'll see it comes under here, Flam Bat LX8000, 9000 PF, or Power Mouse, Power Mouse Plus. If we click over on this icon, that will download the latest Power Mouse file. And what we need to do with that is put that onto a USB stick. So with the Power Mouse comes a USB stick. We'll plug that into our computer. And what I always say to everyone is make sure this USB stick is blank. So um, if you need the manuals off from it, then obviously take those onto your computer. But I tend to delete everything, make sure it's a completely blank USB stick before you go and start updating devices with it. So in this video, we're not gonna to go too much into the features of the Power Mouse um, and the stuff that it comes with. We've already got a video up on our YouTube channel about that, so check that out. And once this is all blank, there we go. So we've got a blank USB stick. And then we've already downloaded the file. So we'll just go to our downloads. And you can see the files there. And all we've got to do is copy that. And paste that onto our USB stick. Now, if you ever download the file more than one time, you'll see that the file name has this little number in brackets. You need to make sure you delete that. So the file name should just end with the expiry date and .fw. Now just a note on that expiry date, the effectively from the 1st of March 2026, this uh, firmware will be out of date. And at that point, the power mouse will no longer function. It won't receive targets, it won't transmit. So we tend to recommend to people that you need to keep your flam, you need to update your flam once a year. Um, it should be part of your glider's annual inspection. So once we've got the file on the USB stick, we've got the USB port on the side of the device. Obviously, um, ideally you'd be doing this in the glider in situ, so you'll have all your antennas plugged in. If you're doing this on the bench at home, make sure you plug the antennas in. Um, it's just good practice with anything that transmits to always have antennas plugged in. Uh, and the key with any power mouse or power flam device, make sure it's turned off, plug the USB stick in, boot it up, leave it for five minutes, you'll probably see on the flam display that it will be showing it doing a firmware update. Once that's, once that's finished, you'll see all the lights come on green as normal. You can then shut it down and then remove the USB stick and you're good to go. The only difference with a power flam core is where you get the file from. So for a power flam core, we've just gone to the flam website here. You go to support and then downloads. And at the top here, you can see firmware updates. So if you then scroll down, you've then got a search box here. And in, thi in this field, you need to search for your flam type. So if you've got a power flam, you search power flam, and then scroll down to here, you can see power flam core or portable firmware version 7.24. You download that, and then it's the exact same procedure as for the power mouse from this point on. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you how to update the latest type of power flam devices. So here we've got a Power Mouse Plus uh, and an old Power Mouse. One of the big benefits of the Power Mouse Plus is that it's got Wi-Fi built in. The same applies if you've got Power Flam Fusion. This means that you can actually update it wirelessly using uh, a mobile phone or a tablet. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And we've also got the Flam Link and this can be connected to any type of older power flam. Uh, and again, basically allows you to do the same so you can configure it or update it wirelessly using your mobile phone. Okay, so the first part of the process is we need to get the firmware file onto our mobile device. That's because once you're connected to the flam link, you won't be able to download um, anything from the internet because you'll be connected to the flam link's Wi-Fi network. So let's do that first. We'll go to Navboys and then downloads. There 
and we just scroll to firmware updates. So LXNav firmware for an LXNav power mouse. And then we download the power mouse file here. That's now downloaded the file onto the device. And then scan the QR code on the back of the VLAN link. And there you go, connected automatically. And you can see it's come up saying in internet may not be available. So that's to be expected. You're just connected to the Flam device. So you can, in this device, say always connect. And then your phone will remember this information whenever it sees this um, network in the future. It will help to just automatically connect to it. So once you're connected to the Flam Link's Wi Fi network, with the Flam Link comes a little instruction booklet. And under connection, it gives you the server that you need to go to. So you just go to any internet browser and you can type in 192.168.1.1. And now you can see how to configure the Flamix device. So the first thing you can do is set a Wi Fi password. And then that's saved the settings. It will just reboot. And then once it's rebooted, we'll be able to connect back to the Flarm link. Okay, so once we've done that, it's now gonna reboot the Flarm link. We'll need to connect to it again, just because the password will have changed. So we scan the QR code. And then this time we input the password that we've just set up. So now you go to your browser and refresh the page. And you can see this is where we can set up the flight declaration details. So you can put in the pilot, co-pilot, glider type, reg, competition number, and class. And then once you press save, that will upload those parameters to the power mouse, which means that your IGC file declaration will now be valid for that pilot. So on this option at the top here, you can see the current FLAM status. You can use the cart range analyzer to see how your FLAM is performing. Traffic monitor to see all the targets it's seeing. It's got a logbook there for all, so you can see all of the traces that it's been recording and, down, and download traces. And then you can also upload a license file, obstacle file, and a firmware update file. So to perform a FLAM update, we go to the FLAM update page and we press browse. We look for that file that we just downloaded earlier, which is under downloads. And there's the file. And then we just press upload. And then okay. And it's now uploading the FLAM firmware file to the Flam link, the Flam link passes it into the power mouse. While that's just finishing off, the features of the Flam link in creating this Wi Fi and Bluetooth network is exactly the same as the features of the Power Mouse Plus with respect to the Wi Fi network and the Power Flam Fusion. Um, so that means that you can perform any sort of configuration change, firmware update download traces, all of that can now be done wirelessly over Wi-Fi. So your flam can be buried behind the panel out of reach. You don't need to get a USB stick to it or an SD card. You can just do this all wirelessly through your phone. Okay, that's now finished and you can see the flam device will now reboot. You just give it a minute, the flam will turn back on and then we can reconnect to it via the phone. Let's just refresh the page and look at the flam status and you can see it's now running on the latest firmware version 7.24 which means we're good to go, good to fly. So in this video we've shown you how to update your flams and configure them. Uh, the main things to take away are to make sure that you update your flam once a year. Uh, make sure that if you've got an SD card or a USB stick 
that you're inserting it or removing it while the flam's turned off. And lastly, if you've got the later versions, uh, once you've got them set up, they're really simple. You can just connect to your phone once a year, perform whatever um, changes you need to make, uh, and then that's it. They're good to go. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out our channel, we've got another video on how to update your LX9000. And we've also got an unboxing video on the PowerMouse and PowerMouse Plus. Okay, I'll see you next time. Cheers.